Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today is Tuesday, many of us know it as the update day for Medieval Engineers, and you're probably wondering what you're going to be getting to grips with in this update. So let's actually have a look at it and see exactly what's been introduced. Now, we have got some new blocks that I am showing off here. Now, if we go into my inventory, we can see a stone wall round large has been added, as well as a number of different counterparts to use with this block as well. So let's just place the basic block on the ground here. So you can see we actually have two versions of it, so we can actually connect it together like so. And here are some of the shapes that have been messing around with it. And now, first thing I want to do is actually compare it to the original circle turret that we could build. Just look how small the original was. And if I compare myself to it, you can see how I could barely fit inside it myself. Now, this is going to give us a much more reasonable larger turret to work with. And I've actually built one over here, so you can actually have a look. So you can see we've rounded around the top and there's a lot of space in here for different attributes. You could build a crane that could lift things up to the roof from here. You could maybe even have some sort of catapult that extends on ropes to this level and then fires out. Just really cool. You could do loads of different things with this much larger turret now. Now, I've shown a few other different curved turret designs as well. So you might want a forward outpost that uses these sort of half moon shaped turrets. You could build something with that. It's just really changing the availability and making our castles much more variable. Well, having more variations of the turret. So we've got like a teardrop style turret here as well. So you could have that poking out on the forward sort of outpost of your castle. We've also got more stretched oval shaped turret as well so it's just really allowing us to develop our turrets our castles further now don't restrict yourself to thinking about this block for purely turret use over here i've actually started to build a little bit of a windmill and i'll show you some of the other features as well so before we start actually building up the windmill with the new blocks i'm going to show you some of the other new blocks here so we've actually got a stone wall sloped but aaron what exactly can i do with that now, a stone wall sloped allows us to fill in areas like triangles, like this, for instance. You can see how we can fill that area in. And we'll switch this over to the other side and use our mouse wheel. And we should be able to fill in both of them gaps, like so. So you can see we've actually built it inside out, so it's actually going to stick out. So let's quickly delete that. So we'll delete that. And then we can actually rotate this around and place these within the roof of that area so the access to the lower area of the moon mill and a little storage tank down there is now safe so let's actually build these floors up a little bit higher and i'll show you some of the different blocks that are available so i think we're going to need some windows at this level so let's actually place one of these here so we're going to use our button so we can actually place blocks with inside blocks and you can see how it doesn't fit exactly into this area but with a simple mouse wheel it'll correct that problem for us and we can build windows all around on this particular floor so we continue building them around. So we'll click one there, click one there, and then we'll mouse wheel, and we can add a few more in here. So it's just really smooth, works very well for building castles, or even in this case, a windmill. So if you can see, we're going inside, we've actually got some barrels, some storage in here, and we've got a little bit of a roof coming in to keep our little storage crate covered and as we lead up to the second floor. So let's actually build a top to this turret let's actually try to get some wooden beams out get a secondary floor in so there we go we've got some wooden floors now these wooden floors are specially developed so they can actually sit here on top so you can see how they've got that curve built into them so we're gonna have to disable that so they actually sit on top and then we can just actually rotate these around with the mouse wheel correcting at their position and we can add them on now what i found that looks really cool when working with these is if you leave the hole in the middle and then you fill that with some more rounded blocks and you just create this really dynamic looking hole up the center of your castle so we'll actually pop some of them in there and one there and finally two more little rounded blocks and then you're left with this great circle area in the middle that you could use to hoist something to the top of the castle the windmill or whatever you're actually creating if you have some sort of crane up there now we just need to make a room for some stairs so i think we'll cut out that block here and we'll whack ourselves some stairs in so we're going to go with them stone sort of rounded ones and we should place them in there. Let's just get a nice spot. Perfect. They should be able to lift up onto the next level. That's going to be a little bit dangerous though. I think we'll have to work out another way of getting them to that next floor. Maybe if we use a rounded block instead. So if we use one of these. And then we correct that area up. We should have a nice safe area to get to the next floor. 
very cool we'll have to fix that window as well but it leads us up to the upper stories now let's pretend we were not building a windmill in this case we're actually going to build a castle and that's why we have these large stone battlements so you can see as we place these on top we get two variations of them and we can actually filter these through so let's try to rotate these around there we go perfect and then we can actually use the z key just to spam them into the correct position for the top of our turret of this makeshift sort of castle design that we've actually gone into here rather than the windmill but i think i can fix that back up later and to get a block up there we'll have to turn off the z key and place that there so it's a rather interesting update and it's allowed us to have a little bit more variation in the sort of castles and turrets we build and it's really to an extent of your imagination how far you want to take these new turrets but i thought i'd show you them today and hopefully it's inspired you to get into medieval engineers and just have a bit of a mess around with some of the new blocks so i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time